It's a beautiful day outside. I'm enjoying this weather. I just want to tell you that I love you guys and I'm praying for you guys. I'm hoping the best for you guys and everything that God has to offer in your lives. But I just feel like there's a lot of times it's many of us are feeling very constricted. Almost like the like the uh, like a boa snake wrapping itself around us and constricting the life out of us. And I, I feel like that that God wants to tell you that He wants to loosen off that spirit of Sonia, that spirit of heaviness. <clears throat> to give you like garments of praise and liberty in the spirit. But, but a lot of times, the very thing that's that's constricting us are the very things that we're embracing, if that makes any sense. You know, you would think that something that's constricting is wrapping around you. But something you are em embracing is something that you're holding on to. So, with that said, <clears throat> I do believe that people want victory in Christ. But at the same time, there's people who are professing Jesus but yet want to cling to the very thing of this world but yet they wonder why they are so bound in life you can't hold on to one and the other it's one or the other it's who do you want more what do you love more what do you desire more is it Jesus or the things of this world now if you're embracing something that has you bound and is hindering your walk in Christ you need to let, let it go so you can be set free like I said a boa snake or anaconda or wrap this stuff around, around you and squeeze the life out of you and with that said it will take away the breath that's in you the very life, the substance in your life but at the same time, if, if you're embracing something, you're embracing it so much, you would not let that thing go. So it's one way or the other. So, are you willing to let it go and cling to the feet of Jesus? Or have your life continue to be sucked away? The breath, the air that, that Christ has given you. So my question is, what is it you want to do? Do you want to be set free or do you want to be bound? Be loosened or bound? You got to cut ties to things in your life. If you don't, you'll be so constricted. That's why you find yourself like, Lord, I just want to love you. I want to worship you. I want to adore you in church, at home, in my car at work, but I just can't seem to raise my hands as much as I used to. Now, I may lift them up physically speaking, but, but inwardly, in my heart, I'm struggling, Lord, and I just feel like there's like a wall between us. It's because that constricting is squeezing the life out of you right now. See, the spirit of heaviness will make you feel that way. Eventually, your hands will come back down to your waistline. Your heart won't be as soft as it used to. It'll get hardened. And I'm praying over you. I'm praying for soft hearts. I want the, the liberty of the Holy Spirit in my life and yours. The spirit of Python will squeeze the life out of you. But you gotta let go of some things in your life, too. The more you let go of the things of this world, the loosen that, that constriction will become. And you get your breath back, your life back, your joy, your happiness, your freedom in Christ. See, we are to wear armor. In the book of Ephesians it says, put on the full armor of God and fight the good fight of faith. And I believe it's 2 Timothy. But it's hard to do that when you're shackled. See, the problem is, a lot of people are supposed to put on their armor, but they haven't. Many people are supposed to put on their armor, and they took it off. 
you got to keep your armor on. Put it on and keep your armor of God on. Kind of like a soldier in combat. There's times that, you you know, there'll be a ceasefire. You know, they're kind of like buckled down in their tents and whatever. But they do not take off their boots. And they do not unload their guns. Because they know that one shot would be fired. And they have to be ready and prepared to fight. Just like us. You know, we keep our armor on always ready to fight. Now, if you're shackled, that means your armor got off of your body somehow. Either you allowed it, or you just never put it on, period. So, I just say this with love. I'm praying for you. And I'm praying that the spirit of heaviness will be broken off your life. And liberty of the Holy Spirit will flow in your life abundantly. And I love you guys. I'm hoping that, that, that you, you know, some place in your heart or on your knees, whatever that may look like, and you know, work, home, church, car, whatever. Just find that place where you just pull over if you have to. Step out of the car in a safe place and get on your knees and just cry out, Jesus, loosen me, loosen me, Lord. Whatever you bound on earth would be bound in heaven. And whatever you loosen will be loosened in heaven. And we want to be loosened people. We don't need to wear shackles. We need to wear our armor. So I'm praying. I love you guys.